Our News Channel 5 investigates team has been digging into the background of the shooter. And as the hours pass, we're learning more about him. Again, authorities have identified him as 24-year-old Muhammad Youssef Abdulaziz. We're told that he is a naturalized citizen out of Kuwait, but information on the family's Facebook pages suggests they are Palestinians. Abdulaziz graduated from UT Chattanooga in 2012 with a degree in electrical engineering. But back in April, he was arrested by Chattanooga Housing Authority officers on DUI charges. Our chief investigative reporter, Phil Williams, has been working this story all day. Phil. You know, the one thing we're missing, the thing everyone wants to know is motive. Looking from the outside, the suspect's family had fully integrated into the Chattanooga community. This is a family photo that was posted on Facebook just two months ago. The suspect's father appears to be an employee of the city of Chattanooga, and Facebook indicates that the father graduated from Texas A&M University. His mother, according to her Facebook page, studied psychology at Beirut Arab University. Again, we don't know anything about motive, but what we can tell you is this. A Twitter account that appears to be associated with ISIS posted a tweet earlier today that referenced Chattanooga. It said, quote, oh, American dogs, soon you will see wonders. Now, contrary to other reports out there on the internet, as best we can tell, this was posted well after the shooting and it may be nothing more worry than an attempt to latch on to this sure. horrible tragedy. So we don't know a motive and we don't know why Chattanooga. No, we, we don't. But what we can tell you is that Chattanooga has been at the center of controversy recently in the Muslim community. It's because of this man. Robert Doggart is a Chattanooga area man, a former candidate for Congress who was recently indicted for planning an attack on a mosque in New York. Doggart's case has recently drawn criticism from the mainstream Muslim community because the Department of Justice did not treat it as an act of terror. But again, we don't know if that was part of the motivation or, or what right now. But it's certainly a curious twist. Absolutely. And I know you and the Investigates team will continue to follow this. Absolutely. Bill, thanks.